kills the musky. Graveyard comes down. Pretty nice defense here. Fisherman takes care of the mini P.E.K.K.A. Snowball comes down. E Wiz comes right. down. Fisherman oh, that no. is good. Wow, dude. What's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale, and I got my old friend from way, way, way back in the beta days, Surgical Goblin on the line. Serge, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, what's up, bro? I'm doing great. You? I'm doing fantastic as well, man. You know, we were just talking off air, and it's been a while since we had you on, bro. How, how's like life and stuff, even outside Clash Royale? How are you hanging in there? I saw the upload yesterday, so, you know, excited about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm in general doing pretty good, actually. Uh, I had a time that I wasn't playing that much uh, Clash Royale, but I'm actually getting back, yeah, to grinding it, practicing a lot, and also, as you said, like yesterday, I uploaded a video, so I've also, yeah, trying to get back to uploading videos consistently again. Awesome, man. Well, we, yeah, we need all you OG, uh, you know, pros and content creators to be <laughs> making content. It helps everybody out for sure. So, guys, mm -hmm. check out Surgical Goblin's YouTube channel if you haven't in a while. He's back to uploading, so that will be linked, of course, in the show notes below. Uh, so, Serge, the, the video that you actually uploaded was covering this deck. It is the deck that really all the pros are using. Top ladder, top global tournament, just everywhere. Competitive. It is everywhere. Why do you like this deck so much? And it is, uh, if I can actually, there we go. It's the 3.1 Royal Giant. It's the new version of the Royal Giant kind of cycle deck with the Ewiz in there now, uh, along with the Hunter. Why do you like it so much, Serge? Mm, in my opinion, it's just super solid. Like, you can... Obviously, it has some hard matchups, and obviously, you can lose, like, against that. It's not, like, unbeatable. Yeah. But in my opinion, it's just super solid, like, in general, like, even against some difficult matchups. Like, for example, Barpod in general is pretty difficult against Royal Giant, but I feel like because of the quick cycle... You having Fireball and just in general such a solid defense with Fisherman in there, Hunt in there, Barbara also helps on defense and offense, like sometimes it can help a lot uh, on both. So in my opinion, it's just, yeah, super solid in general. Yeah, you mentioned the fast cycle on this deck too. When do you get in situations where you're trying to kind of cycle like two Royal Giants, uh, Surge? Like if they have mm -hmm. a building basically in, in Double Elixir, is that when you start playing them behind your King Tower? Or how do you kind of dictate when to play them and back versus at the bridge? Yeah, exactly. Like what you said, like if they have, uh, for example, the Inferno Tower, obviously we have Electro Wizard, but a good player won't allow the Electro Wizard to hit the Inferno Tower. Mm -hmm. So as you said, like playing it in the back allows you to cycle two. And then for example, if they play Inferno Tower to counter one, and if you already have like another one in cycle, you can just pressure with that one at the bridge right away. Okay, yeah, let's, well, I'm sure we'll see some of that live uh, in action. So want to go ahead and search for ladder match? Sure, sure, sure. Let's All go. Right. All right, we okay. got a match here. Our first opponent is going to be Hus, uh, Hussy, 16. What's your starting uh, hands look like, uh, Serge? Uh, skeletons, Barbro, Fisherman, Hunter, and next card, OG. So usually if I have Barbro, I would just cycle it. Okay. Or Skeletons. Like, in, for example, this case, if I didn't have Barbro, I would just cycle Skellies. So he yeah. goes with a Barb Hut. Pretty aggressive, but I don't yeah. really have anything. And you mentioned really Barb Hut. Yeah, you mentioned Barb Hut yeah. before, so now it's going to be your chance to show up how you can do work against it. Yes, so probably just Fireball. Okay, so Elixir Golem. Not a big fan of Elixir I, Golem. I was going to say, you know, I haven't even talked to you about this deck. Like, what do you? How do you feel about this deck? Do you think? Do you think it's just really annoying, or is it really strong and really annoying? Mm, both. Like, okay. I don't think. Like, yeah. in my opinion, like, what he's doing right now, like, shouldn't be... Right? A thing? Yeah. Possible. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, I'll like, try to can. activate the game, and then get a Fireball Hunter, hopefully do something. Wow. Hopefully the Heal Spirit will jump in time, and then heal up the Hunter. Okay, wow, so that was dude. a pretty good deal. Pretty good. That was insane. <laughs> dude, I was <laughs> kissing that tower goodbye. I was like, okay, well, obviously you're going to lose your left tower here. Wow. All right. Okay, so I'll pressure with RG, like knowing that he does have Barbot and Psycho, but obviously Barbot casting 7 Elixir. Yeah. Like we should be able to pressure and then maybe get a good fireball here. I'll actually fireball those barbs Why and then not, the RG right? will. Yeah, exactly. Especially like having the King Tower activated, like I'm not too worried if he pressures right now, like I can fisherman the Elixir Golem like even to the other lane. Yeah. So he takes a lot of damage there and he goes with the Elixir Golem in the back. Always scary. Yeah, so this defense will be pretty hard, but let's see. Like, the most key in this matchup is obviously, like, trying to activate the king. Like, we have it already right now. And then just get a good fireball hunter, like, on the support. 
Okay. So fishermen to pull the elixir golem. Mm -hmm. Our skellies and then hunt their heal spirit. Our elixir is it just to make sure we actually killed it. Nice. Bar nice. on defense. So it goes in with battle healer, but it's it feels like you got this under control. Maybe you go royal giant. Yeah. Oh, actually, hunter and skellies again. Hopefully, okay. I will fire about it. Oh, nice. wow, dude. <laughs> oh my god, bro. What a way to start the video. <laughs> it gave me like eight heart attacks, man. But you seem to like, wow, he he goes he goes with the RG NATO, throws, throws the towel in. So, oh my word, man. That was incredible stuff there on defense. Like you said, one thing that really, you kept that, that hunter was so crucial for you in mm -hmm. the fact that you were able to heal him up with the heal spirit too. Yeah, exactly. Like a good thing for us in this case that he actually like some people use the extra golem version with fireball, but him having barb barrel actually helped because if not he can just fireball NATO like everything together. But right now, but like he didn't really have a good answer to the hunters. Yeah. So I always try to keep my hunter as you said like for defense for one of the dragons and then try to get a good. Uh, yeah, value on my heal spirit. You know, for how mm -hmm. strong and how annoying it is, I was actually kind of surprised that it wasn't played like even more in like CRL and no tilt and stuff like that. Uh, why don't pros use that deck a ton? I feel like they do, but not as much like in competitive because okay. I feel like with Elixir Golem, like if you actually have a bad matchup, like for example, let's say like a quick cycle bomb tower deck, or maybe like for example, I don't know, like a lock bait, like quick cycle rocket with Inferno Tower, stuff like that, like it's an automatic loss. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's too matchup dependent to just really consistently run a lot. Exactly. All but right. if you get the matchup, it's basically impossible for the other guy to <laughs> yeah. to beat it. So yeah. that's the part like what I don't like about it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's Elixir Golem first play and that's it. So this time he starts out with Bar Barrel. You just go yeah, Fisherman might be back. a mirror match actually. Okay. Yeah, I w I'm not sure about this play because obviously, like, if let's say he has a giant skelly giant or skeleton. something, like, it, it could be risky. But most of the times, I actually like cycling Fisher Men in the back because you also don't really have a good answer to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I'll actually go with a hunter and later on, I'll try to get a good heal spirit. Okay, nice lightning. I'll have to fire about that. I don't really have anything. Yeah. So lightning, baby dragon, so lumberjack golem? looks like golem to me. Yeah, it looks yeah. like golem to me. Yeah. So first you have elixir so. golem, now you have golem. Do you find this easier <laughs> or more difficult then? I mean, with the lightning, it seems like it'll be just as challenging as the last matchup. Yeah, it depends how he plays. Honestly, if he goes with golem right now, it will be really nice for me. Um, if he plays it passive, it could actually get pretty difficult. Yeah. Looks, looks like, like, like he's playing, playing it really well though. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing it well. I'll actually pressure over here right now, knowing that he doesn't have Lumber in Cycle. Let's see what he drops. I'll try to get a good Heal Spirit. Okay. Nice. Fireball. So you're trying to get like most of your damage in single Elixir time in this matchup? Or I find it challenging on your side to even know in double Elixir like how aggressive to go on counter push mm -hmm. versus how much you should stay save for defense, you know? Yeah, like right go. now, I just pressure a lot because, like, I like knowing that we have fishermen, like we will try to get a good fisherman. So I will basically just spend everything right now on offense. Okay, okay. You like I will take... actually pressure a lot. Yeah, I just want to make sure he doesn't support the golem like that much. Okay. Um, and at the same time, like we're actually getting a lot of damage. This will be tricky. Yeah. Let's like see you don't want to get three crowns. Yeah. Nice net his part. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think we can actually defend this. We're getting a lot of damage on the King Tower as well, though. Yeah. Like this matchup, I don't know, this matchup is pretty interesting. I feel I feel like it's, like, if played well, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel because like... I'll try to pull it to the really nice Lumber on his part. Yeah. I'll actually try to kill the Lumberjack ASAP, and then hopefully the Fisherman will pull the Golem off the tower. Nice. Well, that was a good call there. Okay, let's see. That will get a lot of damage, though. Yeah. Hopefully it's not enough for lightning. Okay. I'll actually Ooh. go with RG. Okay. Now I'll try to pull the lumber, like, whenever he drops it with the fissure. Okay, heal spirit not able to connect. Mm, let's see. Hmm. He's Hunter playing as well. Yeah. Hunter did... I'll actually pressure again with RG. Nice. 
You know he wanted to play a golem so badly in the pocket there, so. Uh, one more hit. Ah. Mm. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh my god, dude. Alright, he's one lightning away. He keeps putting pressure, trying not to let you, uh... He keeps trying to block. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Surge is focused. He goes with that Royal Giant. Give me one oh shot. No! Oh, no! Oh my god. One shot and the fireball would have been enough. He played it really well. Dude, he did play that really well. That was, uh, that, that was, uh, that guy, I think I had him on the channel before, but man, that was so close, dude. I thought you had it at the very last second, too. The yes, it, that was so close. All right, right away when the drip on Lictor. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Very well played to him. Here we go on the next one against this guy. So as far as like starting plays here, uh, Frank, what do you usually go with? Like, what are your favorites with this bar putt at the, uh, at the river? Mm, yeah, like if I have Barb Rail, most of the times so I would just play with it. Um, if not, like for example, Psycho Skellies or Heal Spirit. Okay, so he actually has Bandit. I'll actually go with a late Electro Wizard, so it doesn't dash. Nice. Ooh, okay, so, so three muskies. Will, yeah, pretty much, or pretty sure it will be three muskies. So I'll actually Fireball the Electro Collector. Uh, just to make sure like he won't get a, too much of an advantage. Okay. He might actually go with three muskies right now. Okay, looks like he sets up uh, maybe a high three musky. Let's see. Yeah, that's interesting. Whoa. I'll actually go with a fisherman. Let's see what I can do here. I will let one musky lock on. And then I'll actually go with a bar bro. Dude, nice D. Could have been worse, but Yeah. The good thing about this, like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have that many counters against, uh, like, a big RG push. Like, most of the three Musketeers decks actually don't have a big spell. So if I'll be able to just stack, like, for example, Hunter with a Fisherman and then, like, RG in front of it, like, that should actually be able to get a good amount of damage. Okay. So let's see, I'll actually go with RG and a Fisherman prediction for, um... I was actually thinking that he had Hunter, but it looks like he goes <laughs> with a Bender. Either way, it does so the, the trick. Skeleton's yeah, there. Yeah, it works. I'll go with a Heal Spirit to heal both. Well, the nice. Fisherman goes down, but R3 still gets a good amount of damage. That's almost tower. That is Should almost tower. Nice. Also, the good thing with RG, by the way, like, even if, um, like, you don't have a tower down, like, you can actually fireball, like, all the three Musketeers. Because, like, King Tower doesn't really oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, affect yeah. the RG. That's true. That's true. Okay. So now, in this situation, it doesn't even matter if he pumps anymore. You're just going to be saving your fireball for three Musky every time. Mm, oh, oh, fire about this just because he yeah, gives me such as well, good right? value. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, he also let me hit the other one. Yep. Interesting. Ooh. Just, like, I've never seen that before. I know, right? All right. Okay, let's see. This might be tricky to defend, but let's see. So, I'll definitely fire about the left side. Just need to watch out now with the right, right. side. Yeah. Okay. Two fishermen okay. are so great, man. Oh my yeah. word. Feels dude, look at that. Look at that, dude. <laughs> Double fisherman. There's something really special about pulling everything all over the place. All right. Now he's getting yeah. desperation time. I'll and, just fireball. Yeah. The tower and like he won't have enough time. He can play it was high and that will be GG. Nice. That will be GG. Very well played, man. Very well played there. I don't know. I just love those defense. I love the fisherman defense, especially when you can cycle the two of them, which you can do easily with this deck because it's so cheap, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, pretty strange deck. Like the Mega Knight actually caught me off guard, but I was still able to defend it. Super weird with the Mega Knight. All right, here we go in the next one against Space Jam. I'm, I'm sure you weren't even alive when that original movie came out. Have you seen it, oh Space Jam? You like, no. Do you like NBA? Do you like basketball? Mm, I don't really watch it, to be honest. Yeah. What is your favorite sport? Sport? Mm, probably badminton. Like, I actually used to play it competitive when I was younger. Nice. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, graveyard. All right. All right. So... It... Obviously, this is kind of a weird one, but it's the giant graveyard deck. Uh, are you going to be leaning on Hunter primarily as your main like mode of defense here against graveyard? But you kind of need him for the giant too, or are you going to use Fisherman? Mm, 
depends on the situation. Most of the times, so I just try to get like a good hunter, like for the gotcha. support, like okay. the support, and then like for example, Barbell Barbell Ewis, like for the okay graveyard. Okay, so good amount of damage. Yep. Skellies to distract. Nice skellies. He has snowball no zap, so he couldn't really react quickly anyway. If he, even if he did have it in hand, so a nice start for you here. Yeah, so what's pretty tricky against Fisherman, by the way, against Giant Gravy, like in general, like a lot of people actually like focus too much on the King Tower activation, but sometimes it's just not possible. So sometimes, you, like you, in this case, like I'll actually not go with the go activation. High. Yeah. Just because if not, like he might have um, enough time to activate the King. Yeah. So I would just, he was dead. I like that. And I think that's a, that's a really good piece of advice there. Yeah, like Giant is still able to get a hit in this case, but I feel like it's definitely worth it because if not, like, yeah, we might end up losing the tower, you know? Yep, yep. All right. Okay, so I actually go with a hunter to keep the fisherman alive and also pressure a little bit more. Let's see what he drops. Ooh, so he's gonna give you that tower. He wasted the snowball there. Oh, well, actually, he didn't. I'll just fire about the musky and then try to defend. Let's yeah. see if I will be Try able to, to defend for 42 seconds and see what we can do here. Let's see if he. No, he's Garmies. Okay. He's got to get something going here. Nice heal spirit. <laughs> Kills the musky. Graveyard comes down. Pretty nice defense here. Fisherman takes care of the mini P.E.K.K.A. Snowball comes down. E Wiz comes nice. down. Fisherman oh, actually, that no. is good. Dude, Fisherman's so strong, man. I love it. Yeah, Fisherman is super strong. Let's see if I can catch a skeleton army. I don't know what play, but anyways, I think it's GG. Yeah. They are just have... pressured. Exactly. They are just pressured to make sure like he won't attack, but anyways, yeah, nice. Perfect. Nice job, man. Nice job, GG's. Uh, you. Do you mind coaching me for one more before you go real quick? No, for sure, for All sure. Right, Let's cool, go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I have the deck selected. Hey, guys, I actually played on ladder, faced a level 12, cut that match, but I realized I am 10 in 3, 4 right now inside this global tournament, so I'm going to play in the global tournament instead. Here we go. Boom. No margin okay, for okay. error here. Good luck against Reaper. So the my start on. Yeah, yeah. My starting <laughs> hand is Hunter, Fireball, and both of the cycle cards, so I'm just going to see what he does. Uh, yeah. I guess I can just go heal spirit. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Nice. So I have Hunter now in hand. So should, would you bar barrel in front of this or no? Mm, yep, uh, the side. Uh, oh, no, this well, now we not. can just kind of chill. Nice. Okay. So now. Yeah, most of the times in this situation, I would just chill as well. Like, like yeah. for example, Ewis. In this case, like, I wouldn't cycle Fisherman knowing that he has Hawk Rider. Like, you will actually try to activate the King Tower later on. Yeah. Uh, so, it looks like, yeah, some kind of bait Hawk Rider deck. Should I uh, Royal Giant here in front of this Fisherman? Mm, you can. He has a lot of Elixir, though. But let's say he has, like, a pack or something. Like, the Fisherman will actually help. So, you can definitely RG. Let's see what he drops. He will look. Uh, that was a... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I get a little bit of damage here, and I don't have my Fisherman in Cycle, which kind of sucks, but we're just going to do this. He has a Goblin uh, ca uh, Barrel as well, which kind of sucks. Yeah, let's see if he drops it. If he does, you can... It looks like he doesn't. You can just lay the e on that. Yep, yep, yep. If not, that will... Nice. Yeah, so the e will end up going down, but at least, like, the Mega Knight doesn't jump to your tower. Do you have Fisherman again? I have Fisherman in Cycle, so when he, if he hogs here, I'm good. Exactly. Yeah, I am, if uh, he hogs... Trying to get a handle on what the heck this guy is playing. He might just Goblin Barrel right now, and then I don't really... I have to go Fireball, I guess, against it. Yeah, or you can... If you have Skellies or something, like, you yeah. can take a little bit of damage and just Skellies that. Yeah, that works. Okay. Okay, so in this matchup, I would actually start RGs in the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't really know what to do there, but let's see. No, that's fine. You can try to activate the King here. Oh, yeah? Eh, I didn't. Okay, good. That's fine, too. Watch out with the fire spirits. Nice. Yeah. Good RG to block that. Let's see what he drops. He might go just like with the Mega Knight again. Yeah, he does. You can pull that away. That's pretty good. Now we can... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that was bad, but it's okay. I can e whiz here. He did a bad positioning there, so that helped me out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, next. so I have ro uh, Royal Giant in hand, but I can't use it there. Let's see what he does. Okay, so I would just defend it, and on the counter attack, you can... 
Okay. Maybe go in. Yeah. Let's see. He's, I'll go in he here. has quite a lot of elixir. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's gonna just mega knight this. You won't mega knight. Yeah, that's fine though. Yeah, I'll get a few okay, hits. We'll get... Nice. The fisher will actually pull it to the oh other lane. Oh my Don't god! Pull out a lot. Just watch out now. He might go with like a hawk rider goblin barrel. Yeah. You have barb barrel. Nice. I do, but can I can I pull that away quick, please? Oh man! All right. The good thing is that he doesn't have a big spell, so like he has lock. Obviously, like the chips, but he doesn't have like a fireball or rocket or anything. Okay, nice fisherman to pull that in the middle. You can maybe e waste all of that. Yep. I got you. I got you. I got you. Nice. Just prepare for your hog RG right now, and then ah, I shouldn't have fisherman, right? <laughs> yeah. In my opinion, yeah, you, uh, you can. I mean, you can still do it. It's fine. I got like, it. I got it. I got it. Help. He doesn't have skeleton army. That's good. Do you have heal spirit? I don't. Okay, that's fine. RG will get at least two hits, maybe three if you're lucky. Nice. Just watch out now. I feel like he might go with a Hawk Rider. Okay. Good distraction. I have Fireball for his... Uh... That's fine. You can actually uh, go with RG and then Heal Spirit. Just try to cycle to your Barbell because he will scale your arm. Ah, darn it. Don't worry. Oh, remember, I knew that. remember I knew he doesn't have a big spell. Okay. Don't worry. Just watch out with the goblin barrels and hawks. Nice. Good defense. Dude! <laughs> How did that if break through? Barrel, fireball? I got it, I got it, barrel? I got it, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh my god, oh, it pulls through the way. Oh, I think that's oh, game, I think that's oh, game. Come on, come on! <laughs> One more! Get it! Nice! Oh! Let's go! Oh my Great god, that was so cool intense! <laughs> Dude, that well match, played, well man! Played. Good god! Alright, alright, alright! That, that was, was so uh, <laughs> That was really intense! That was a stupid, dumb deck that I faced, but so is mine, I guess, at the end of the day, right? Uh, Frank, what a way to end the video! Thanks so much for coming back on, man! I appreciate it! Yeah, thank you so much for the invitation, Ash. Always a pleasure. No problem. Likewise, guys, check out Surgical Goblin. Again, his Twitter information, his Instagram, his player stats and profile links, statsrail.com, <laughs> and, of course, his YouTube channel. Uh, perfect time to go subscribe to his, uh, Surgical Goblin YouTube. All that information will be linked uh, in the description below, along with the deck link, uh, along with uh, Geyser and Statsrail, my other channel partners here. Uh, thanks again, Serge. Good luck uh, next season in CRL. Thank you so much. No problem, guys. That's going to do it for the video. He shot to Brent Chong. And as always, take care, guys.